is Brian. Hey guys, good day. My name is Brian and I wanted just to share a little bit with you about my journey. Um, right now, I'm in a Joseph season of my life because God wants to um, grow my character and in that growth of character, there's often a lot of brokenness. Um, learning how to be developed in that brokenness and die silently is essential. It's one of the things I've been learning. Um, I lost my job and I didn't foresee that coming. Um, a set of circumstances then resulted in kind of a lot of poverty which uh, forced me kind of out of the uh, area that I grew up and into Reading and um, I believe that part of that has to do with just the callings on my life and God wanting to put me through a refiner's fire and so it's been rough um, but you know there's been some good times and some you know better times um, you know, and we all want life sometimes to be at a level of um, just anointing and we don't like the bumps in the road but those bumps in the road springboard us you know like into our future so that's what God's been doing with me lately um, and uh, he pulled me out of full-time ministry I was doing street outreach in San Francisco love that um, so I've been settling uh, with what God is wanting to do in my life I've been um, you know reverting back to humility and just laying it all down you know the more surrender um, the more I get out of it. So God's been growing my heart. I've met um, a couple prophet friends out here, Prophet Joshua, Prophet Tim, and uh, there are some divine relationships out here. And I know that God has so much more for me. Um, you know, I can't say how long I'm going to be in Reading, but what I can say is that I trust God. I trust Jesus all the way, 100%. I'm recklessly, totally abandoned to Him. And one of the things I was reflecting upon where sometimes I get caught up in the growth um, was, you know, just, just, God, what are you doing? This is so hard. God, this hurts. And God reminded me yesterday, some of the people that I have met while I've been here in Reading on the streets, who I've had the uh, opportunity to impact, you know, uh, and preach the gospel with miracle signs and wonders um, that I believe are prophetic uh, assignments, their divine appointments according to the destiny scroll that's written in heaven for my life. God just reminded me it's not about you all the time. It's not about um, how you feel as you're developing. You know, there is um, essentials to the journey. And I was just meditating on the fact that I have met some really amazing people and I've gotten the privilege to speak to that amazing and call that out in them. So. This is just a, I release a blessing to those individuals, uh, to my friend Jared, to my friend Blake, and I just want to let you guys know that we are so behind you, the kingdom of God is so behind you, and uh, we are just surrounding your life in intercession like the cloud of witnesses, we are rooting for you, and um, I prophesied today to this one friend that some of those, uh, like, like, I wouldn't leave Reading until there was full restoration that uh, needed to come through the relationship and the reason and the purpose that God brought me to Reading. So anyways, I'm in Reading, I'm developing. Um, I feel like I've stepped into my office of a prophet uh, and that's outside of the church. Um, some people say that the office of the prophet has to be within the body. Um, it's debatable, um, it's semantics, but um, even though I stepped into that, that office of the prophet, I believe the next 10 years will be spent developing that office. I mean, there'll be so much growth, so much necessary growth, you know, um, and I really haven't even scratched the surface. So I uh, try to stay really humble uh, with that. But um, I mean, you're just hearing about the journey, um, but you know, what God's brought me out of, some of the stuff that God's brought me out of uh, to where I am right now, such as the occult, such as homosexuality, such as drug, you know, addiction and such as possession. I mean, like God is good and God is so real. And to me, God is power. He's dunamis power. And uh, as a believer, if you don't have that Holy Spirit in your life, you're running on, on fumes, you know, I'd encourage you get that spirit, spirit connection, you know, get filled, get baptized, exercise your spirit, man, speak in tongues hour a day, you know, um, and I want to encourage any one of you out there that feels like they're in a growing season, you know, and they just don't know um, where they're going, you know, or what God's doing. Don't get frustrated, you know, just just thank God for where he's brought you from, you know. Um, don't get in, a, in, in such a rush to grow up, you know. 
and I'll share with you in closing a, a vision that I had. Um, you know, God told me, he said, Brian, you're not a pirate ship. And I said, well, what do you mean, God? And he said, you know, uh, a pirate ship depended on, you know, wind for the sails. And when there was no wind, you know, like that's when the mutinies would happen. And that's when you'd be, you know, jumping overboard because there's mutinies. And God said, in the, you know, you're not a pirate ship. He said, actually, you're like one of those. And he showed me a picture of those uh, Roman battleships, the, the, the ones they had the rows and they rammed um, the other boats like in the movie Ben-Hur. Um, he said, you're not a pirate ship. He's like, you're a battering ram. I don't know what the ships are called, but he's like, you're one of those battleships. And he's like, you have rows. He's like, when there's no wind blowing in your life, which would be in reference to the spirit of God, because God's just working somewhere else. You've still got the rows and you can row. And he said, in particular, that, that ship, by the way, they would beat on a drum, and that's the rhythm that they would row to, you know, and as the beat, you know, faster, they'd row faster. So that's how the acceleration of the ship would go. And um, Holy Spirit said, you just continue to row to the beat of my heart in your life. And he says, you're just going to break through, you know. So it was really, really um, awesome that God gave me that vision, and I would just encourage you to you, you know, like when you feel like there's growth, but you're still unaware or just uncertain, you know, get out and row, row and praise, row and thanksgiving, just row because you've got oars. <laughs> I bless you, Jesus name.